What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix Windows Update Error 0xc1900204. Now this is a common error code that happens when you're trying to update uh, in any version of Windows. So let me show you how to resolve this problem. So this is a Windows 10 system. We're going to type troubleshoot inside the search here and open up troubleshoot settings. Now what's happening here is we're trying to update Windows 10 to Windows 11 uh, inside a preview when it could be any type of update that you're trying to do and you're getting an error code uh, like the one I showed you. So let me just quickly do a troubleshoot on the Windows update to see whether there's an issue uh, with the system. This does take a bit of time, so be patient. And uh, if you get an error code here, it may try to fix it, but most of the time these troubleshoot tools that are built inside Windows are not much cop and they don't really do much. But I wanted to add it in the video. So next we're going to go down to the search and type CMD and open this and run this as administrator. This is the command prompt window. What we're going to do here is type SFC space forward slash scan now. And we're going to allow this to run to see whether it comes back with any sort of problems or errors on our system. You can see it's found corrupt files and it's successfully repaired them. So from here, what I'm going to do is do another command to show you what you can do if you've still got problems at this stage. So the next one you want to do here is we're going to type out a DISM command. So let's go ahead and do this one here. So you can try and do this command here. It's DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash scan health. Run this and let it complete its scan. And when it comes to the end, it should tell you whether you've got issues. You can see on my one, it says no component store corruption detected. Now, if your system is coming up with some sort of corruption or some sort of error or component uh, problems, then what you can do is type out this command here, dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health and run this command. There's no need to run this command unless you are receiving error codes or corruption with your system. There's no point and it will just cause more problems. But if you did run that command and you had er errors, then you can now run SFC space forward slash scan now to see whether those problems have been resolved. And you should come back with no uh, violations or anything like that. Now, once you've um, done all these commands and run these on your system, you, if you're still having issues updating, then you can run this batch file, which I'll leave a link for in the video description, and uh, you can get it off my website. Basically, you can see here what this is going to do this is going to restore all the Windows update components. Now, sometimes what happens, files get uh, stored in these folders and they can cause problems with Windows updates. So by running this script, by right clicking on it and running this as administrator, it's going to go ahead and uh, remove all of those files. It will make a backup of certain folders and by default, these will be recreated when you run a Windows update again. So no need to worry about any sort of uh, permanent damage that this script does. It's just resetting the Windows Update components. So just let this run and it will reset all of this for you and hopefully this will resolve your issue. This does resolve a lot of problems with Windows updates. So next up, what we're going to do is go down to uh, the search box here and type reg edit and open up the registry editor. Now it's always important to make a backup of your registry and also and make a system restore point. I've showed you how to do that in previous videos. You can check my playlists on how to make a backup of your registry. So we're going to go to this location here, H key local machine software, Microsoft Windows current version. So we're going to go down to here. So we're at Microsoft right now. So I'm just going to come down to Windows and uh, open this up here. And we're now going to go to current version. Inside here, you're going to see some files on the right hand side here called program file DIR. And this is the, the directory for where your files will be installed. Now, if you have this set to another uh, letter here, like D, E or whatever it is on your PC, because you're redirecting all your programs to that directory, then your Windows updates will have issues, especially if you're going to update to a new version of Windows like Windows 11 or something like that. So make sure these are on their default settings here 
and it should look something like what you see here, which is your C drive. And if they're not, then you need to change those, otherwise you're going to run into issues. So next up, let me just close these off and go back. Because we need to edit the registry once more and check to make sure everything is okay here. So we're going to go to H key local machine again. I'm going to go down to system and then current control set and then control. And we're going to go to NLS here, open this up. So it's just down here. And there we go. And then we need to go to language here. Now on the right hand pane here, when we click on language, we're looking for install language here. And this is the one where we want to make sure it's set to our country of choice. So for instance, if you want to set this up uh, for your language in the UK, you can use this code here. So make sure you've got it set to the right one here because this can sometimes cause an issue. So I'm going to set this one up as English US and we can set this up as 0409 and that's English US. And you can see here you've got the install language as English US on this system. So if you're living in a different country, make sure you set yours to the right one. Now you can do a search on the internet for uh, language codes and it will show you which code is for your country. So just make sure that is all set. As you can see here, this is set for English US here. Now we've got that done. We can close this off here. We're finished with the registry. And now you can go ahead and check your Windows updates. Now I know this works because we did it last night on our Discord server when someone was trying to update from Windows 10 to a Windows 11 inside a preview. And basically what was happening, it was keep, keep kicking up this error code and uh, we did those fixes right there and lo and behold, everything worked fine and he managed to roll out his update to Windows 11. So make sure you follow all of those steps and hopefully this will resolve your problem. Also, it's advisable if you have an antivirus program and it's causing issues is to disable your antivirus program just in case that is conflicting with your Windows updates. You can see here we are now updating OK. All those updates are coming down perfectly fine. And this is basically how you can fix Windows Update Error Code 0xc1900204. Hopefully this one helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Let me know in the comments section below what sort of videos that you like to see. And I'll try and... Uh, make those videos for you. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.